Hi everyone! Okay, don't mind me with the tears. I just found out I passed uh, intermediate accounting, so I'm very excited, very happy. We are at the Seattle airport. Um, we had to do TSA twice, because <laughs> I, I uh, accidentally left the airport when I got here. Uh, which is which I wasn't supposed to do. I didn't realize that there was another staircase because I was trying to get to gate A and it uh, didn't go so well. So now I'm just killing time by walking around because my flight got delayed by an hour and now we're exploring the Seattle airport. But I'm, I'm very happy. Oh, okay, we're turning around. We, it was a dead end. But I'm very happy and exciting. Um, I'm going to Japan and I'm going to take you along the ride. So see you later guys. Bye. Hi everyone. Okay, so we're on the plane and we did premium economy and you won't believe what seat we got. We got the front row. Look at all that leg room. Oh, it's amazing. There is no TV for us though. I don't know if we have to share that one or not, but I think everyone can see what we're watching. That's a little bit um, interesting, but I, I I love this spot. This, this is nice. I originally thought that this spot was gonna be next to a bathroom, um, but it's not. It's actually pleasantly nice and spacious. I'm glad we got this. I can't believe, I had to check my ticket three times to make sure this was the right spot. I was like, this is no way. This is like H20 and then J20. No way. And they, they give us like slippers. I don't really know what this is, um, but it, it's nice and nice headphones. So I'm assuming there's a way for us to watch TV, but two of us can't watch at the same time. So I'm really confused as to what's happening. And of course they gave us the um, but the, the problem is that there's no space to put your bag, so we had to put our bag and our luggage up there. Which is kind of inconvenient because when I want to journal and, you know, draw, I'm gonna have to get up every time. But I guess that, that might be a blessing in disguise because that means I get to walk. So, we'll see what happens. See you guys later! Bye! I'm back again. So apparently this is like a, a toothbrush kit. So that's nice. I didn't have to bring mine with me, but uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so this stuff is like really fancy. Cause look at my screen. I finally found it. And then um, we have these little tables that come out of the chairs. It's, it's crazy. I, I kind of don't want to go back to economy now. I think, I think I'm stuck. Stuck in preview. I, I don't know. I think they're going to give us snacks or something, but uh, yeah. It's great. Well, that missed the engine. Yeah. I didn't realize we were next to an engine. Hi, everyone. Okay, so we landed in Tokyo. But apparently Verizon, which is the service I'm using, is telling me I don't have enough money to fund this, even though I prepaid $250, so I'm really confused at what's happening. Uh, hopefully we get Wi-Fi because we're kind of stuck without Wi-Fi. You, you kind of need it to travel. Um, I was on the Delta. I totally forgot to say that I was on the De Delta Airlines. I kind of got a little air sick by the end of it, but luckily we landed just in time, so now I feel a lot better. And now I gotta go through customs, so wish me luck. Okay, so um, we had a little little hurdle. Um, turns out the, the prepayment only went on to, to my mom's plan and not mine. So we had to transfer funds to my phone so now I can, I can use Wi-Fi, which is good because I have all the data plans. So oh, that scared me. Um, but now we're gonna head to customs because we need um, data in order to call a taxi, which apparently they have Uber here. I was told by YouTubers that we don't have Uber. So that's that's gonna be interesting to use. Wish us luck trying to get through customs and I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone. Okay, so we made it to our hotel, which is Hotel Trusty, and we did take a taxi and we used the Go app instead of like just the normal taxis because it allows us to see like the rate and what we're expected to pay and it allows you to use 
credit card and MasterCard. And I just like doing that because we didn't really have yen available to give to the driver. Plus, like, the app gives, like, a special fee for some things. So we just went with the taxi. And the taxi, I think it, the taxi costed us around, like, $47.23 US. Um, but in yen, it was, like, 7350 Currency in Japan is a little bit weird. Um, but we are, we checked into our hotel and it was very interesting because when we checked in, um, there was a little bit of a language barrier because I don't know Japanese, but they take our passports and they like print them and check them and have you sign like, um, documentation of like, when was the last hotel you stayed at, which for us, this is the first hotel. So that, that's pretty much what we had to sign and do all the documentation. So yeah, they were serious. I'm online when they said you take your passport everywhere with you because they will like literally check all the time um, but we are going to probably wash up a little bit and then explore the city because it is around i want to say 4 p.m in japan time but in our time which is specific standard time it's like 1 a.m and we need to get adjusted to uh, japan zones so that when we go on trips uh, well, we're already on a trip, so when we go on an activity, we're not going to be, like, tired or miss it. So that's the thing. Oh, I guess I should show you what the room is. So the room is actually quite small. Look how small this closet is. Like, this is it. Like, in here is the bathroom. Hi, me. And then this is our bed. We're going to be sharing a bed because um, it was cheaper to do that when we booked it. Um, it's really small and quaint, but it's, um, basically, and, uh, yeah, they gave us slippers too, so I, I know there's some things about us carrying the shoes, I just don't know how exactly we're going to do that, but this is what's happening, so I'll catch you guys later, bye. Hi everyone, so we just got out of our hotel, and now we're exploring, we're gonna try and get to a mall. Um, we know a 7-Eleven is open 24-7, so we're not too worried about that. Because we know we do have to get food. But we're going to explore. Apparently nighttime Japan is, is as cool as daytime Japan. But tomorrow we've got a big day ahead of us because we're going to the team labs. But we're going at like 1 p.m. So we can, you know, get some sleep in and figure out how to use the subway systems because we haven't done that yet. We've just done taxi. Um, it, like in the front, you can tell the weather seems like it wants to rain. And it's kind of cloudy. So <laughs> we're hoping the weather is pretty good. And if it's not, we're probably going to get an umbrella at 7-Eleven. They're not that bad. Anywho, bye! Hi! So we uh, walked into a park that has these like displays going on. I don't know what the displays are for, but they're shiny, and they're pretty, so we might come back to this later. Hi everyone, we got to the mall. It's very big. There was a Curious George store, a uh, crane machine, lots of things. I'm kind of really tired, but I found Yoki Balls, where we got that. Um, to eat because I'm I'm hungry and I also got some soap because we didn't have some soap at the hotel which is fine and they they did the basics I don't really know what I'm saying at this point anymore but uh, I think I think this is it for the night so bye bye hi everyone it's day two we are walking to the subway we're gonna try and figure out that because we haven't done that yet. It's currently a little bit rainy. Oh, it's 61 degrees out. So for me, that feels really nice. We're gonna head. I don't know how we're gonna do this because I have a Samsung and apparently only Samsungs from um, Japan can work with the Suica card. And my mom's phone is like an iPhone 6S. So it's too old to use the Suica card digitally. So we might have to just manually get tickets for the subway. But I'm hoping they have the information center so we can get something. But, uh, yeah, it's a bright day. It's like 6 a.m. here, but like maybe 2.30 p.m. 
in Pacific Standard Time. My brain still hasn't adjusted that I'm in Japan because apparently I'm not tired. I, I feel like it's gonna hit me a couple days later. But uh, yeah, so we're just currently walking. I mean, we could technically walk to Team Labs, but that's like 49 minutes. And I'd rather figure out the subway system here now because we're gonna take the bullet train later. Anywho, see you later. Hi everyone, so we came back. We got our Suica cards at the Tokyo Station JR East entrance because um, we didn't get them at the airport. And I think at the airport they give you like the PASMO. And so when we did the airport, we didn't even see that here on the screen. We didn't even see that happening. So now that we've got our our Suica cards, now we can load them and now we can go use it for 7-Eleven, um, the buses and the subways, which is nice. So now we're gonna go and try and find a restaurant to eat. And yeah, pretty excited because this is really hard to find. Like it was only available at the east entrance. So, fun stuff. Hi everyone. You know what we realized? We realized getting food is actually a lot harder than it seems because we didn't have any we didn't have any restaurants planned, so we're just trying to find. So now that we got this week of card, we're gonna go back um, to where Team Land Planets are and find food there to eat something. And I heard it Team Land Planets take like six hours, so we're gonna get something really good to eat and then go. Yeah. So hi again. It's us. We're waiting for the bus because we missed the first bus, and now we're going to the second. Uh, to get back to Team Labs, and my mom just noticed that there are no seats available anywhere, and she's tired, so yeah, I'm okay with standing and walking. I trained for this all year, doing the Conquer challenges. Mom, not so much, so we're just waiting until it's 11-11, and then to hit back on the bus. And we're not using the train even though I wanted to, it's because the bus is actually faster to the location we're trying to get to. So yeah. But I'm just excited that we got a sweet card, and surprisingly enough, um, it doesn't have a SIM in it, or chip, that I, I thought it would have, but it doesn't. So I, I it's very interesting to see what's going to happen with that. But uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we got one. I think we might have to get a Pasmo leg later when we go to a different city, but we'll... We'll figure that out when we get there. Bye. Bye. Hi. Okay, so we got the bus. We're back in the Team Lamb area like an hour and a half early. So we're just waiting to kill time until 1. I think we're going to wait in line at 12.30 because there seems to be like a wait time. Um, we tried to find ice cream, but I guess Koto City doesn't have a lot of ice cream available. Or we're just not very good at finding it, <laughs> which I think might be the actual reason we we have a terrible time finding restaurants. So I think that's just us. But um, yeah, that's what's happening. Hi everyone, we are waiting in line to Team Star, <laughs> which is backwards, so you can't obviously see what the words are. But we are waiting in line for Team Lamb Planets. Uh, I expect it's going to be a 30 minute wait before we can actually get in, but um, yeah, we are, we are about to head in. I don't think I can record anything. I think I can just take pictures and that's about it, so bye guys. See you there. Oh, look at all this on the ground. Flowers? I guess so. Oh, butterflies! No. Ooh, it smells good here. What does it smell? I'm filming it right now. 
I'll explain to them later what's happening. They can't really see us. We're following a single butterfly. Why is it falling by itself? This is literally just a room with a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of poles. I think this is a mirror. Whoa. So since you come here, you can get out. Now follow me. You can get out. That's what people are like here. Squares everywhere. 